Yeah. Yeah. I took another ride. I got the bass in the middle of my brothers. I got the whole city back. I used to fuck a drug. You know what it is, man. Three. A.M.O. Whittier, man. Yes, we back in the building. Your boy back on the block. And I'm going to let the host introduce himself today, man. What's good? Man, man, we back at it, man. I don't know what. We, no, we on week eight, man. I got my shit right this week, man. Week we eight, episode, episode eight. Episode eight, man. We back at it, man. Uh, you know what I'm saying? It's it's getting real, real, real spooky out here, man. Spooky uh, season. You know what I'm saying? Man. We would say, man, um, I seen... Um, well, before we go into it, man, you know, let me introduce my co-host, man. Got my boy with me, man. No, nah, introduce yourself first, well, my I'm Coach brother. Coach JR, man. I'm Coach JR, man. You know what I'm saying? Host of 3 a.m. on Whittier, man. And I got yes, my co-host sir. with me, man. And you know what it is, man. Rapping ass will, a.k.a. pop out what you into, a.k.a. the culture. Y'all know what it is, man. Big culture. Big oh. culture. My bad, man. Big culture. Y'all know oh, what it is, man, though. Man, um, man. It's been a crazy week, man. Just in uh, just in current events alone, man. Shit, but um, no, nah, man. You know, NFL draft going on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Shout out to Bryce Young, man. He went yeah, number one went from number Alabama. One. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. We yeah. getting close to football season, man. You know how that be, man. Niggas get, you know what I'm saying? Little, About to be out there. Yeah, man. Like yeah. You know, summertime, you know what I'm saying? But you know. You know, when we get close to football season, man, niggas be in the house then. Man. Niggas yeah. be in the house running that football season. They be in the crib, man. But we still got the playoffs going on, man. Yeah. I see I see the Heat took the Milwaukee Bucks out the number one seed. Took and that, Jimmy son. Playoff Butler did his thing again, man. We're going to jump into that, man. Yeah, uh, buddy. Jimmy Playoff Butler, Butler was out there, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Dropping, oh. dropping the motherfucking uh, the numbers, man. The Ice Man was dropping out there. And shit. Man, Ice Man. Trying to, nigga was out there uh, trying to trying to build history out there, <laughs> man. Hey, they disrespected but, uh, his name. Facts, man. But uh, yeah, man. Week was kind of you know got out last week, man. You know what I'm saying? Got some uh, good. I got got some good eats, man. I went and uh, met up with this dude right here, man, and bowled a couple games, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that ain't for me. Yeah, man, it was horrible, yeah, that ain't bro. For me, bro, that ain't. Uh, man. Yeah, I need to go like do some uh, some basketball. Or we can know, go do bro. some uh, some. You ain't got you know, no bowling some, etiquette. I could do bro. some pool or something like that, man. Like you know, like try to jump out with the homies. Can't shit. beat me with no pool, God. Yeah, but the Good bowling, plan. man, that shit. No, the thing about the bowling, man, that shit. I left there, bro. No, I ain't leave there. I woke up, man. I, I, I ain't never felt that way, bro, man. Because you bowl with your back. That's the case, bro. That's what I'm saying. I don't need to be out there. Yo, hey, and I and I was on fire too, bro. I had like a 150 game. Yeah, you know I mean, be out there. Bro. You know I mean, bro. I'm an he amateur. He was out there, you know what I'm saying? Doing, he was throwing that ball down that mall so damn hard, bro. Man. To break that damn mall. <laughs> he was hitting happen. it like my homie T. Rich used to bowl, baby. He throw it to the middle of the lane. Yeah, bow. He throwing that ball to the damn, bottom, bro. bro. Man, but. Nah, man, I jumped but out yeah. there with bro, man. You know what I'm saying? Some, uh, we had some good time, man. Some good food. Yeah, Got some good out. Mexican food. You know what yeah, I mean? I stepped, I stepped out for a little bit, you know what I'm saying, after that. I mean, on Saturday or whatever, man. But, man, I'm just like, man, it, it's, it's different out here, man. Like, it's, it's it's a different vibe right now, man. The city lit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. You know, uh I'm, I'm I'm out in Charlotte right now, so you know the Panthers, man. They had the yeah. number one pick, man. So. They had a draft party too. Yeah, I they was had a crazy down downtown. One, they had a little draft party, so they had the stadium open up and stuff. Yeah, food, man. drinks. The Panther fans, like they starting to like act like they open Raider fans out here and shit. Oh, man, they better quit playing, man. Real, man. And just speaking about just random, since we go into a Panthers game, I remember when I first went. To, it was like my first Panther game when I came down here. Yeah. I went with my moms. Uh, you, you was there, yeah. So we went oh, yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. My dudes that was went. Like Cam versus like, yeah. Uh, I think they played the Saints, man. Nah, so I don't think Drew Cam Brees. was playing. Drew Brees was playing, but oh, Cam was playing. out. But I went with my aunt and my dudes, and I went with bro. You know what I'm saying? We went to the game. You know what I'm saying? Good seats, good eats, everything smooth. Yeah. Now the vibes was all. I mean, talking about game day vibes. Everything good. Oh yeah. So we get to the line. Now, my Uncle Mike, man, he's a character. If y'all don't yeah, know him, man, man, Google him. He's a character. Yeah, this man. cat, man, we get in the line. Me and bro in the back just chilling, taking pics. Don't know what's going on. Don't know what's going on. I see him and Mom Dukes, brother and sister. I see them shimmy to the front of the line. And I'm saying to myself, nobody's saying none of them. But they, t- they, they telling us like, yo, come on, come on, come on. 
Man, so you know, me and bro, we a bigger dudes, man. We not no yeah, little puny man. dudes, so we sliding through. And we black. And we black. And we black, bro. We got to the front of that line. <laughs> oh, I, we, but the thing about it is, we thought it, we thought it was something that he had already. You know what I'm saying? I thought he had like platinum tickets. Or yeah, something, I thought he you know had I mean? the little platinum little, you know, ticket holder. You know, something. You know, I thought Shit's he had that going on. Bribes. Nah, this nigga was cutting. Bruh, when I heard this white woman's look over at me and say, hey, <laughs> you're cutting the line. I looked over. They with they dudes, but they ain't want no smoke, but it's just yeah, the females. Bro, so yeah, I look at bro. It, man. I look at coach. I'm like, yo, I look, this nigga is gone. Yeah. He's at the front with them now. So now I'm the only up. one in the back getting threatened. So you know me. I slide through too. Man, I ain't never received so many death threats yeah. going into a game, bro. Well, what we do? It was, we, man, we got up in that bitch, though. That line, though. We got but it, though. But nah, nah, that wasn't no shit that I was proud of, man. My mom, and she was riding with the shit. Hey, and the funny she, thing about the more the whole story is they were acting like they didn't know us when they were saying we was cutting the line. They was like looking at us like, yeah, why y'all do that for? I said, we following y'all. What's going on? I don't, I don't, I don't want to be Sometimes your like people that. will get you in some football shit, fights man. a little different, man. Them niggas out there, man. Them niggas willing, willing to die for man, it, man. they be out there throwing uh, coolers. Facts, man. Coors lights. I'm not getting hit with no Coors lights. I seen a dude get hit with the Arizona can. I was like, after that? Oh, yeah. No, that wasn't the, that wasn't the Arizona can. <laughs> what was that, a sweet tea? The, uh, the twisted... Uh, the twisted tea? Yeah, that joint. Man, after I seen that, man, I was like, I ain't letting nobody hit me with an aluminum can. Not with it some full shit, of some yeah. some some shit you just ain't built for, man. You know. Yeah. Well, I don't want to be built to get some him niggas that's like built that. for that shit, bro. Man, niggas can take that shit and keep it moving, man. Like you know, shit, Debo. They don't make niggas like that no more, bro. But that's a whole solid nineteen seventy nigga that take that. Yeah. I'm speaking of some sports though, man. Um, it's been a lot of shit going on, bro. Like it's got real, real, real spooky out here, man. So uh, let's get right into Angel Reese, man. Like. Yeah. Yeah, man, Angel Reese, man, and then before I even got to get into Angel Reese, man, it's like, old girl Caitlyn, she didn't came through the spot. Yeah. You no, know, Caitlyn, Caitlyn is uh, transferring to LSU, from what I hear, bro. Yeah, I seen that. I seen that. They gonna be big. South yeah. Carolina gonna have their hands hands for it. She do, is she doing the Durant right now, bro? She doing the KD? Yeah, she out there recruiting, bro. Yeah, she like these niggas put me out. Fuck it, I'm going to them. <laughs> man, like, bro. Hey. Like, I yeah. mean, you for it? I mean, I ain't mad because, you know, like South Carolina, they stocked up. They get all the best people. So, hey, LSU, right, man, let them get them people over there, man. I okay. mean, it, we had we coming off the most successful women's basketball tournament. Right. So, why not? I think, like, I think there's something that can really, like, bring, like, female basketball back, though. Well, I love it you all, man. That? Like, the trash talking she do. I mean, she bringing that... That dog element back to women's basketball. We ain't seen that since, like, Don Staley, Cheryl right. Swoops. You know what I mean? It's been a minute, like, since that you had, like, that dog. I mean, that's when I watch, like, you know what I'm saying? Candace like, Parker used to have dog, I never, but, I never, I never but she really, like, broadcasted her like that, bro. Ever since what? she won the dunk contest over uh, James White, I just was kind of like... Man, that. he holding a grudge oh, with my baby man. from a high school All-American game. And she uh, she, you know, she went up and dated up my man Sheldon Williams, so I was like... <laughs> yeah, it's not, it's hey. not much more hopeful I can do. Yo, bro, bro Sheldon Williams was horrible. That, but... Nah, man, Angel Reese is real lit right now, man. Like, uh, I think she said Drake was in them DMs. Jumping in. Future was in them DMs. Jumping man. in. Like, I mean, hey, man. <laughs> I, I, I said last episode, I, I mean, like, I was like, yo, like, you know, she, 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 she talking like she don't even need to go to the league, and I'm kind of for it now. Nah, she like, man, man get that get bag, bag man, young like, girl. Let her get woman. Her bag, man. Like it's kind of crazy though, man, to see her and Caitlyn come together. Though. But you, but you knew though, like rappers was gonna jump in the DM. I mean, first it was yeah, supposed yeah. to be NBA Youngboy, yeah. Dies Drake, and all Drake gonna do is unfollow her. Yeah, Drake, <laughs> Drake, king of that, Drake a bro, king bro. will follow you for two weeks and just slide on you. Now future, yeah. she might want to leave my doggy yeah, alone. Long, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we don't want to see you get tox, you know. You gotta leave. You gotta leave the toxic, uh, the toxic gladiator alone. Well, if you just take yeah, you man. down there, take you up through there. But hey, man. man, Drake is the king of that shit, though. Drake will follow you for two weeks and see where your head at. Hey, and then and then when he take you to the crib, as soon as you pull your phone up, you know you can't even pull your phone out in Drake house, bro. He be like, ah, I'm leaving, man. That, uh, what's it called? That uh, NDA? What's it called? That non-disclosure, boy. Yeah, man. Don't be coming up in this crib. I know he got that one chick came in his crib. She's recording him the court. 
that's why you took just that down like, quick. You know, speaking of like, you know, what I'm saying like letting or having, you know, what I'm saying like people, women, I mean, I guess we would say in, in your cribs and uh, you know inviting in your your space like that. How you feel about the DJ academic shit, man? With the whole getting lined up. Ah, oh, that's just crazy, bro. I don't know if it was this girl or just somebody he deal with, but that yeah. just that just goes to show you um, who you dealing with, bro. Like I'm, I'm the type of dude. Like I'm to a point in my life, I don't just deal with anybody. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it could have been this girl, but I mean, you got to know who you dealing with. You can't have no girl out there, and she got access to your hard drive, yeah. pictures, phones, and she's trying to expose you. You know what I mean? So I mean. I don't care how bad you is, bro. If that, if that vibe is off of me, you not even coming in the spot. Like, right. let alone, you know, they know what I... She tried, to, uh, she tried to pop smoke that nigga, bro, man. No, no, rest in peace to pop smoke, man. But it's like, they try, or not even that, man. Like, Young Berg, man. Remember when Young Berg said, well, that was the same chick. Man. I believe that was like, you know what I'm saying? Some of the same niggas, I would say, that, you know, tried to uh, line a uh, hit maker up. Yeah, that's why I say, man, you gotta, you gotta be humble and stay dangerous out here, bro. Cause you gotta watch who you around, bro. You gotta watch who you around and the people they around. You know what I mean? Exactly. So if she did try to set them up, I mean that's, I mean that's crazy. But act, you can't man. really like you can't bring no chick to your spot, man. Not to like, not to you your spot, her, spot, like, bro. You know what I'm saying? Man. If you don't know her, like if you if you ain't been dealing with her, like like. You gotta, you gotta See, that's the only thing I don't know how he was dealing with her. Was she just a little thotty or she was... I think every chick that uh, academics probably get with probably a little thotty. I'm just keeping it honest. No shot at act, but... No shot at you know what I'm no act. Kind of act, act look like he kind of, you know, look for the chicks that's he got just... the broken heels, a little, you know, uh, <laughs> a little, little, you know scab on the heels. leg and shit, you know what I'm saying, for falling, you know, four or five times in the club and shit, you know? <laughs> That's the kind of you know energy he gave me, bro. But, Yo, hey. I mean whatever works for him. I mean, shout hey, out to Act, but to act, tighten bro. up, though, dog. Don't let them chicks up, exposing bro. you, bro. Stay dangerous. Shit, yeah, man. But uh, what else you got out there, man? Let me let you touch in the summer real quick. Oh man, so I watched the fight. I watched it. I watched it live, man. I watched it, man. Spend shout out to money, man. shout out to Big Tank. Tank, man. Did his thing, and it was. And you know what? It's funny, bro. It's just funny. I'm gonna touch on it. I'm not gonna touch on it too much. But I seen a lot of. Yeah, I, know I seen a lot already, come out man. of people in this fight, bro. And and, and and I had to look different at a few people because it was like it was just so divided. Yeah, was and I was just more a proponent of it's gonna be a great fight. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I, you you usually one of them niggas that would go for like Garcia, bro. I remember like the whole. I remember I was at a fight with you, bro. I think that was at my nigga, Le my nigga. Uh, yeah, it was at my nigga. Larry. LB. Yeah. LB, man. Sorry, LB. And this nigga was the only nigga in the room going for Oscar De La Hoya against Floyd, man. I had to, man. I'm yeah. I'm an Oscar De La Hoya fan, and you it wasn't. Was the other nigga. We went to another fight. I'm not to cut you off, but we went to another fight. This nigga was going for Ricky Hatton against motherfucking. Now Floyd, you bro. lied, bro. You did go for Ricky Hatton, bro. <laughs> like nigga was going nah, like nigga bro. was like again. So I'm, I was, I was shocked to see you going for Tank. Nah, you, you know trying to saying? put smut on my name? I ain't do that, man. I, and I like Ricky Hatton, bro, but not in the main brother fight. I wasn't going. But back to that. Tank though, the way he did it. The elegance and style he hit, because I thought the second round one, that was a bomb to me, but that last one, and people that don't know boxing, that don't know what liver shots is, let me explain to you, bro. I would rather take a shot in the face than to let somebody hit me in my liver, bro. Like, just the after effect. I can take a black eye, but I don't want to be where I can't. Your liver ain't functioning. You can't breathe right. You can't sit down right. You can't walk around right. Let me ask you a question, though. A nigga ever hit you in your liver? Because you're talking like you, you know, you're talking from experience, man. Well, you know, back in the day, I used to do a little boxing and stuff, man. But I've been hit. I've been hit around my liver before. I'm not going to front. Yeah. It takes the breath out of you. That's how I felt the pain, the late reaction. Because when he hit him, he was just like, oh, man, that shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> I, I, I seen it, bro. I seen this shit, bro. But I'm, I'm going to be honest. I was, I was one of the first niggas to, you know, go on Twitter and be like, Yo, I, I ain't saying that I felt that it was a, uh, a nigga was trying to, you know what I'm saying, throw the fight or nothing like that. I just felt like I, I, he was trying to get his bag. Bro. You tried to say it was a conspiracy, bro. I mean, I because I felt like when you know when you when you throwing, you got to throw from the hips and shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? He I didn't did. see him. Th I didn't see that. I Man, didn't, look. Like I, and I he, watched it live. He threw from all lower body. I ain't see like him, you know what I'm saying, like 
throw it like and he that. Caught I him, seen him like you know throw it off his back foot and shit. It felt like man. He caught him right in the uh, under the armpit, bro. Yeah. And it hurt. Shout out, shout out, shout out, Garcia, man, because he got in there and tried to do his thing, man. The boy probably got more money than he ever got he let in a nigga, fight. He let that nigga sauce them ribs, though. But man. boy, when I say he put famous Dave Glaze on that boy ribs, man. I watched it after. Uh, it was another uh, I don't know the man name, but on Instagram, man, he had. Uh, oh, you had to slow mo. Yeah, he slow mo it and yeah, broke from it the down. back angle. You seen it? That's when you said that shit wasn't fake, huh? Yeah, man. Shout out. And I seen Floyd, man. Just to segue to Floyd, man. I seen him at the fight. They tried to say he had a million dollar hat on, though, bro. He had a TMT hat with, like, diamonds and all this in the hat. That sounds like some Floyd. But it was only 30K, though. But damn, That's 30K still, for a hat. Still heavy. Still heavy, man. But um, shout out to Tank, man. Shout out to Tank Davis. Yeah, shout, shout out, out to them, to man. Shout Garcia, out to all man. of them. And um, I heard also that Floyd just signed up to fight. The my boss grandson. Who? He fighting the old my boss grandson. He's a popular one too. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm kind of. It's I'm an kinda, exhibition, but it's. I think it's John Gotti grandson. I'm kind of. I'm kind of off that shit now, bro. I'm just being honest, man. I'm, 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 he picking the bag up. I mean, I ain't, I ain't mad at him from getting that bag. I'm just saying, like, I'm kind of off the whole uh, celebrity, like, or fighting. You know, what I'm saying exhibition fights, like. I mean, I don't want to see it. So, so he signed up to fight John Gotti's grandson. <laughs> so my thing is like, why is John Gotti's grandson boxing, man? He need to be somewhere in the casino trying to hit on a nigga or something. Yeah, man. You know, but yeah, man, I don't know about Can't that. Can't go that against the lifestyle. Like, but Floyd, man, hey, you got enough money, man. I don't want to see these exhibitions no yeah, more. Wrap that up, man. Tie, wrap it up, that bro. Little, uh, what's his name? Let, let little KJ, man, get him built up, man. Little, you know, <laughs> he ready for it, man. Nigga, he three. He ready though. Man. <laughs> he got hands already. But um, nah, man, I uh, miss some uh, real stuff to uh, get into real quick, man. This uh, prize, man. What's going on with that, man? Like they say, prize is facing like twenty two years, I believe it is. Like. Yeah, they found him guilty, I believe, of 10 counts of international fraud, bro. 10 counts. That's kind of crazy. And not bro. beside the fact that he was a government informant for the last 20, 30 years, bro. Yeah, so all that, the... ooh, nah, nah, nah. He was, he was already working for the government, Did, bro. Um, did Prize have a verse on um, any of those you know, hits, bro? I don't really remember. I just remember Man. Lauren. I remember Wyclef. I remember him, but I don't remember. He him. was on there. Don't get me wrong. He was on there. He was on Ghetto Superstar. Yeah. You know I mean? So he 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 got his due. You know what That's I'm saying? Crazy. But a government informant for that long though. That and the nigga was in like and he was like a Chinese. Uh, um, I don't know. He was working with like the Chinese government or something though. I'm like nigga, how you how you get how you get plugged in? I don't know prize, but you like, know that what? That nigga got a plug. Like we be talking about plugs out here, man. That nigga got a plug, bro. Yeah. Like, how you get how you get into the like that type of politics? I don't know, but I'm going to say this one time, and I'm going to say it like I just said about Floyd. Hey, Prize, sit your ass down, bro. You don't know. What are you over here doing international crimes for? What you over here doing, bro? Yeah, he was out It's a damn shame, bro. Like outside, 50. Outside. Bro, like 50, bro. You, yeah. It's a time where fraud is done, bro. That's kind of crazy, man. Like, what happened to the catalog, man? You ain't got no residuals. You ain't heard. And Wyclef in politics, too, and shit. Like, you ain't heard Wyclef say a damn thing. Like, man, man and I, as he should. Lauren, like, let that nigga go over there, man. The <laughs> Marley said, get them away from here, boy. Yeah, you know, you know we growing over here. Remember, um, it was another member of um of the, of the Fugees, man. I think his name was like John Some, man. Oh, you talking about John Gray back in the day. I, I don't want to know if it was John. I don't think it's not John Gray, but his name was John Some. But he got, like, convicted of a... Yeah, he did some time. Man. Well, his was like, he was serving them um, things out there, though, man. He's putting them things oh, yeah. on the street, though, man. Yeah, he was throwing it in the water. He was catching it. Dang. But I can't think. I, I want to say John Q or something like that. Nah, man, that's a movie, bro. Damn, man, he's just on. <laughs> God That's damn. the movie with Denzel, I believe, bro, man. I you know what? So, I, I remember him, too, though. That's the bad thing about it, man. Ah, it come to me, man. But, um, yeah, man, yeah, stay out of that, man. Don't get involved in no shit like that, man. Um, it was some other stuff, man, I had to jump into, man. So, ASAP Rocky out here, man, uh, running running 100-yard dashes out here in the streets in Thames, bro. <laughs> I seen it, bro. I, hey, I was What's on the ground on, right now, and I, I couldn't believe I seen it. I was like, is that him first? Y'all New York niggas is different, bro. Y'all y'all, y'all built different, bro. Yo, 
I fuck with my New York niggas. Hey man. yo, like, dang. And he had on the new bucks, like fully new buck yeah, Tims. And he had on like the wide leg pants, bro. And I'm talking about my man. And he won the race, dog. He was looking back and she was happy as hell, bro. Like, yo, I what seen is a little shit? clip of it. I was like, yo, man, what is going on, bro? ASAP got money out here, got Rihanna and shit, and he out here running fools. <laughs> I think she was like, the one that recorded the shit. That's the one. Oh, Go out there and run, baby. If you ain't got no female that's gonna be down by you. And I always said that, bro. I was like, damn, bro. That's why every nigga wanted Rihanna too. Like niggas was like, yo, Rihanna just seemed like that chick, man. That that, you know what I'm saying? I mean, she that she laid back, laid back, puff. You know what I'm saying? She, she on puff, her business, she on her business, like, and she fine, and she fine, bro, and she a freak, and she a freak, freak. Any chick that got rhythm like that, you know, you know, I ain't gonna say. Well, that. she from the islands too. People forget she's from, yeah, the, she islands, from the islands, bro. Too, man. She exotic, boy. But ASAP did what he should have done. You know what I mean? He did what he's supposed he to do. He did what he's supposed to do. And she been digging him, man. She love that nigga Dirty Draws, bro. Real talk. <laughs> yeah, man. Like, shout out to him, man. He did. Shout out ASAP, bro. And every nigga that would have, if they would have been in that position, they definitely would have did. Because Boosie tried to beat you to her. <laughs> hey, Boosie <laughs> said, hey, All these niggas was trying to, like, shoot that shot, man. They would have, man. But, yeah. um, yeah, that was a crazy one, man. Niggas is running full. Running in the street in some Tim, son. I got to respect it because, I, I mean, I can't do that shit, man. And he was, like, overseas, too. Like, what you doing, bro? You know how these streets is. They, like, you know, real yeah. Disney worldish. You know what I'm saying? There ain't no real pavement. He was cobblestone and shit. I was like, like what that, you man. doing? That's crazy, Fucking man. up the new but, bucks. Um, uh, just sticking to, like, the little, you know, celebrities, man. Um, like, the cele celebrity dating shit, man. Um, I seen they was, like, you know, insinuating, I would say. <laughs> Uh, Chloe Kardashian, little baby out here, man. The new, you know. I was disgusted, bro. Why, man, bro? Every time somebody come, I'm trying to tell you, we talked about it on the first episode, man. You gonna catch that Kardashian oh, curse? Really, that shit alone, bro. And he, she had little baby out there smiling. I ain't never seen little baby smile like that. He was smiling, eating soups, soup and salad. Like you say you don't smile like that with Jada, man? No. When they, yeah. hey, okay, so when they caught him at the game. When oh, they yeah. paired the camera on, what'd he do? Uh, yeah, they both they both did that shit, man. But you out you out with Chloe showing all your teeth? Yeah, that nigga was giggling, bro. I ain't like Now, that, I ain't bro. mad at him because it's, a, it's a plug to have with the Kardashians, but, hey, bro, leave Chloe alone, bro. And I know it's probably, I know I know the media is blowing this out of proportion. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? We just making fun of yeah, I don't believe there's nothing really serious, I really don't man. think nothing similar. But if it is, hey, man. Run that shit up. Get Chris as your manager, bro, man. Uh, get you some endorsements with Kim because she killing it. I mean, with Kylie and Kim, man, they killing it, bro, man. But definitely let Chris manage you, bro. She gonna get you the big bag, bro. Little baby, don't do it, bro. I'm telling you, bro. Keep your sanity, bro. It's, it's like, would you let Chris uh, manage you, bro? I mean, obviously, you. I'm Hell sure yeah. You're that, but Chris is probably like the best manager bro, in the damn game, bro. Is you crazy, Chris, Chris Kardashian? Yeah. Kim Duh, but I would I let her. Chris, Chris Jenner, bro, but yeah. <laughs> oh, you gonna take her Kardashian off her name? I mean, that's hey, her name, man. bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Stop like, it. She's not married to that she, man no more. She ain't married bro. to the other nigga either, but you know what I'm saying? Chris Jenner. I mean, uh, what's his name? No, she go with Corey Gamble, the little dude yeah. that used to. Uh, did he play football? Back in the day, man, I don't like nothing dude. about his sports career. But no, nah, of course I would let Chris. Uh, I would let her uh, manage me, bro. She is one of the most business savvy women. Now yeah. I can't mess with none of her daughters, though. I mean, I'm cool, but. You mean, but yeah. You lying your ass off. Yeah, I would. I'm this lying. This nigga talking bro. about I wouldn't mess with none of her, none of her daughters. Like, I'm lying, bro. What the fuck is he talking about, man? I, I wouldn't mess with Courtney, man. Courtney, not my cup of tea. Nigga, Courtney got a lie too, but nigga, you would fuck with Courtney, nigga. Stop lying, nigga. What you talking about, nigga? Like, are you serious? With gasoline draws on. <laughs> no, nah, I ain't going to say but that. Like, See, it's a difference, though. I would fuck with them. I wouldn't. You know what I'm saying? I don't nigga, do all that. Nigga, you know Courtney mean? had you walking two steps behind her, bro. Nigga, like, nigga. You trying to say she going to walk me like a dog? Man, like NLE Chopper, bro. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, bro. Do I look like Suki Red, man? man What's her name? Suki, man. Suki Anna? Courtney, bro. Or any man, Kardashian, stop nigga. it, bro. I got dignity, man. Nigga, I just don't you. fall for no, you know what I mean? Now, don't get me wrong. I would love to party with them because I know the, what they do it up. You know what I'm saying? When you wouldn't have, with them. I'm trying to get in the inner circle. That's all, man. I'm, I'm just trying to come to the brunch. I'm just trying to get in that inner circle, man. I so. want to do. The, I want to go to the the Kardashian brunch, man. They talking about the Rock Nation. I'm trying to go to that brunch. Yeah, I'm trying man. to go to the Kardashian brunch. They got lobster cookies. Y'all ain't yeah. never had that, huh? 
That's why Ray J them got around. They lost their mind. Ray J. I want to uh, you know, just ask you about something real quick, though, man. So, you know, speaking of the Kardashians, man, I seen uh, French. He got a, you know, like a documentary coming out that's like yeah. executive produced by uh, Drake. It's like Dr. Khadija or something like yeah. that. Or, yeah, yeah. Shout out French, man. Yeah, I just I just really seen it, man. French so, got a, a, a long story, too, man. Yeah, like, he do. French. And he got all that footage from when he was coming up, man. He was a videographer, so he got all that footage from the come up. French is that is that that rapper that we ain't know, like I mean, like we ain't know what's gonna like take off like this. Yeah. Like, French blue like real shit, cause like French really grinded that shit out the out the bottom, man. He got it from the DVDs. mud, bro. Cocaine City, and, you know, he was actually battling and shit and all that before when Now I don't know why he's battling. He was actually, man, I, I seen a little bit of shit. He was actually um all right, I'm lying, bro, man. But the nigga's <laughs> but the, but the, the hand. You can't do that yeah. no battle, man. But the, but the, uh, it was a couple songs that I like, you know what I'm saying? Definitely the ones with Max B, like, early on. Yeah, like I like that. a few of those. I like the John with Kodak. I like some of the Oh, yeah, like, later on, he got better. But I'm saying, like, at the beginning and shit like that, that nigga really was just grinding, bro, because his music yeah. wasn't, like, like hitting, hitting like that. Now, when he dropped that, like, Mac and Cheese, I think, like, I don't know what yeah, number he it was. Yeah, he started dropping those. Yeah, he was. He, he kind of followed his lane. And then, but yeah, shout out I was, bumping, French, I was bumping French a little in Texas. I, 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 and it was more or less because, like I said, I seen the come up. Yeah. I seen French from a camera, man. I remember when Cocaine City was just a DVD. Right. I'm you always mean? a fan of the hustle, you know what I'm saying? I'm all, it got to have some, you know what I'm saying, some music too, but I'm a now fan of Now my dog hustle, got bro. giraffes in his crib. Nice. <laughs> Small nice. giraffes, bro. You know that, but shit. Why do man. niggas get money and buy like? I, I don't get me wrong to each his own, but niggas get money and be buying buffaloes, giraffes. I'd be like, nigga, what? Nigga, just picture just waking That's up a, in a giraffe I mean, head I mean, just come in your right door. Off, really, man. A lot of that shit is, man. It's a tax right off. I don't want that type of right I mean, off, you, bro. You, you, you touching that type of money, shit? Like, you don't know what the fuck. You but what just on. make a nigga just sit there and be like, hey, you know what, bro? I want to get a koala bear, bro. Niggas is well, wild well, out here, well, bro. Mike go get bubbles, nigga. What man? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Tyson go get that tiger, man. The little white tiger, man. Man, he tell you, he, he, that tiger was tearing his ass up, man. Man, like, no, like, no, 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 nigga. Man. Mike was tearing the tiger ass up. It looked like the tiger went, and then I seen him yank the tiger up. I said, Mike, stop, bro. That's yeah, animal cruelty. And this is a tiger. Yeah, that nigga, uh, that nigga, Mike was like a pit bull. Off but he got rid of that man. motherfuckers, man, because they were just killing all the little workers at his house, man. You know, Mike killing. just. Man, he, they killed like one of the people, or like I don't know if he killed or he like maimed them, like he like paralyzed somebody. Like Man, one of the lions that. got loose, and you know how Mike is. Mike was like, "Go out there and run, go out there and run," <laughs> like he was a dog. I'm <laughs> like, oh, <laughs> "Nigga, yeah. your groundskeeper." Man, gonna, we gonna be on this all day, man. I'm gonna say, picture you just go over a nigga house and he got a pet fucking tiger. I ain't going over like, that. That's that's a different type of shit. Like you know how you niggas you go in a nigga house and he be like, "Yo, he don't bite." Yeah, shit, I don't do man. that, bro. Like, who the fuck? Like, cause man. then you be the first nigga the dog bite. Nigga, we talking about a tiger now, though. I'm saying he don't bite. He, you know, don't. Well, when they tell you, hey, though, don't do that because he, you know, or a nigga tell you like, hey, you don't, know, hey, don't move that way, man, because he will bite you. Then, like, nigga, what the fuck you mean? Don't. I'm move not that even way, going like, on nobody property that got a lion or a tiger. Man. Like, I stay outside the gates, cause yeah, I ain't messing with it though, man. Damn. But um. Uh, I think um, the baby man. I don't know if I read that shit correctly, man. <laughs> but I, I think I might have read it. But the baby didn't he say that he wanna he open to like collabing again with Meg? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He said it. Damn. Hey man, and then he said, I that, guess man. him and Tori still cool. So back, and he took he did it like a player though. He did it like a player. Man, that nigga, hey, bro. Like, <laughs> hey, but baby about his money cool. though, and I don't think the issue was. Deep enough for him not to do a song with Meg again. Nah, I, ain't, I, mean. I don't think it's that, bro. I don't think it's that, bro. I think it was the diss track that um, put out the little. You know what I'm saying? When I was, what do you say, man? Like the. Uh, oh yeah, the, phone, the little, the the little, little line. I was fucking on Megan I think that's the problem, bro. Man, we got the buttons. I mean, you know what I mean, I mean yeah, but once hey. you put that type of you know shit on on on, on wax, though, it's like. Yo, like, that's like, you know, kissing and telling, but me, I ain't uh, looking at it. I mean, it's kissing and telling. Let me ask it. you this. Did, did she respond? Did she say something? Hell no. Nah, she ain't. Who, who going to respond to that? I ain't going to lie. Going the case. Baby, hey, I ain't mad at baby because she looking like a whole meal out here, bro. Yeah, I ain't mad at her for that, Like, she, baby came back after trial and was snatched up. Plus, man, like, I ain't going to lie. I told you, man, like, Meg going to have that. 
that. You know what I'm saying? That like you like Meg's buzz is about to go farther and farther right now, bro. I ain't gonna say buzz, man. Her career's gonna go farther and farther. Now, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Like, this is not, this is you know what I'm saying a, a situation that was you know bad, but it's definitely gonna help her blossom. And, I think she and, gotta like, bring out Tina Snow. She gotta go back and get Tina yeah, Snow. Man, she just gotta get you know back man? in the studio, man. Get back man. in that studio, Meg. I know your record label fucking with you. You know what I'm saying? They ain't letting you get to the bad, you get your money. Yeah. But get in the studio. Music is your therapy, baby girl. You know what I mean? Shout out to Meg, man. Shout out to the baby, man. I like to hear some more music together, man. Yeah, man, shout out to baby, man. man. Shout like, out to baby, the baby. And he got a lot of skits going on right now, too, bro. That little, he got, I think he got like a two live crew type song, you know, like a twerk song. Baby, man, I be having fun just watching the baby's. Um, his little uh, his TikToks his and tri- trillers. Yeah, his trillers, he, man. Like he's one of skits. the most creative. Well, is I'm gonna say one. He is the most creative artist of our generation right now. Oh, when man. it comes to visuals, how he put it together, yeah. he's definitely the most creative, bro. And yeah. that's why he can't lose, bro. He can't really I mean, lose. You know, he's when so I creative. first, you know, what I'm saying, heard of the baby. I go back, like I'm, I'm gonna keep it real. I was a fan of the baby back. Like you already know when he had the. I got a whole lot of diamonds. Yeah. Oh yeah, you, he like baby that. Jesus. Ba- I'm from yeah, yeah, I'm from the baby Jesus era, era and shit though, man. But and I feel like he got a lot, like a lot more ways that you know he's gonna go. He's continue gonna he's gonna continue to go up, bro. I think he's gonna be he a good actor, lot, bro. Yeah, he will, he will yeah, definitely be a this good ain't actor, be, bro. This ain't the end for him, right? And now. just a quick you fun know? fact though, man. Um, and shout out to baby man because um he right down here in Charlotte where we be, man. So shout out to baby because yeah. we. We do see him through these streets around here, you know, not just on the boot, but he move around. But just a fun fact, though, man, shout out to my dudes, man, the Fly family, man, because when I first oh, yeah, got shout here, out to him, man. Shout out to G and Rob, they man. shot so many videos for my um, project, bro, like about five or six. Yeah. So shout out to the Fly still family, ain't even man. Put out that you got, man. Yeah, man, I might just yeah. drop it. But shout out to Fly, man. Shout, shout out to G him, Money. Man. Shout out to, uh, you know, uh, Billion Dollar Baby, too, man. Shout out yeah, to man. Over there, man. And we didn't even know that. We just happen to be, and then they just took I just over like, the baby. I just like seeing the hustle. Like, I, I can't do nothing but give niggas they flowers, man. That's you know what I'm saying. Put that work in, and they get yeah. out there and hustle, man. Like I watched, I watched dude put that work in. I watched, yeah. I watched the, I watched the fly family. I watched them put that, you know, ground. Yeah. Shout out my nigga Rail too, man. You know Shout out Rail, the money, Rail, the G money. But uh. Yeah, man. Um, it's some more stuff out there, man. I know you had to. You had told me about through the group text, man. When he was in there, man. That you want to uh, get into, man. I told you, man. That's on you, man. About what you want to talk about, man. Because there's so much stuff that be going on. I know I be speaking on everything, man. Man, it's kind of crazy, man. Like I seen the whole thing with uh, you know, Troy Ave, man, and he don't got. You say it. Yeah, man, Trav got a lot going on, man. I fucks with Trav, though, man. I Trey ain't gonna lie, want all man. the smoke, bro. Trav got, man. I ain't never seen a nigga that take, you know what I'm saying? That nigga took motherfucking lemons and made lemonade, bro, because, like, the whole world hated Trav, like, probably like a year. Still do. It's, I mean, it's about 50 now. Nah, it's kind of like balancing out now, nah, man, because, like, you got, you got, Trey got some supporters, bro. He got oh no 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 I I, I mess with Troy yeah but I think it's just the fact that with with me man I, I know he he killed Banger with the I mean with the case and went up there and testified but I feel like you mean you mean tax stone yeah I'm talking about tax but I'm talking about Troy but I feel like Troy kind of stretching out as far as off that case I just want to hear the nigga make music I'm kind of tired of hearing him talk about you know what I'm saying but how can you not I like how can you, I mean how can you not like do the theatrics and stuff like that, bro, when niggas is throwing, you know, shots at your head every two seconds, bro. Like, No, you know, no, he can, you can, I, I mean, I be burning them too, like like he doing, but I'm talking about just like the, with the case shit, you know what I mean? What, what, so, what about the case, though? I feel like every other song is something about the case, you know what I'm saying? Like the case over, you know what I'm oh, saying? Yeah. I mean, but it's, so, it's, 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 it's fresh right now, though, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's real fresh, so. Now, he's a great capitalizer off what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Dropping merch, everything. You know what I'm saying? That's what the hustler do. You know what right. I'm saying? But eh, it'd just be a little too bit over the top for me sometimes. But man, I mean, I rock with Troy. I mean, I don't know how I would I can't say what I wouldn't do if that happened to me. You know what I mean? And everybody was coming at me. So I feel with the whole like my son, Mano, um Whoever else, man, you got. I mean, it's Manolo so Rose. Manolo Rose. I feel like, I feel like certain things, bro, man. Like 
you shouldn't even just speak on if you if you you so close to the situation. You know, most of them claim they are. It's like, why even speak on it if he if you feel like you know. He's so much of a bozo and shit like that. Just let that nigga, you know, fall face plant. But obviously, I feel like he obviously, you know, getting giving some type of energy out there in New York, bro, that niggas is fucking with because niggas is so, like, against it right now. I mean, like, niggas is getting, like, I feel like he in a better position than he was before, I mean, because, like, before this, this shooting and all this shit, he had his supporters, bro. But right now, like, it's niggas that never knew a trap that's like, yo, he a real nigga and shit, bro. You nigga... He held, he held it, he held his down. He came out blazing, bro. And it, you know they, when they got the the whole backstory of this shit with tax, like they like, oh damn, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm like again, I think I think the story's falling apart of this whole tax stone was the, you know what I'm saying? That's what I think. I think it's kind of falling apart. Yeah. And niggas starting to like sway like towards it. I mean, when the when all that came out in court, I mean, <laughs> read them court documents. You know what I mean, yeah, it's, like I heard, like you got you got academics that's you know. Remember, there's a time that you know really Troy Ad wasn't on nobody platform. No, now you still got, not really. Well, I mean, you know, he's been on no jumper. Know. He's been on academics. He's been on. I'm talking about since the trial, though. I mean, no, since yeah, this, he, he was just you know on academics like the other night. Oh, okay. He was just on Academics the other night, bro. You know what I'm saying? Academics still posts like Troy Ab and shit. Then you got I seen Flacco going to war, going to going to back for him and um on on no jumper. I just you know I don't even watch no jumper. I mean you either, can't. But. I mean anybody that shoot your man and you get the bang and you happen to chase him, you got shot. I mean of course he did what he had to do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you can't you can't. He didn't run. <laughs> Obviously, I mean, after the fact, you know, trying to get away. But, you know what I mean? You can't, that stand up shit, though, man. Like, you know, it's, it's a lot of cowards out here. So some niggas would have just niggas tucked their tail between their head and, and got me. about that month. You know what I mean? So. I'm sure, bro. I done seen niggas, man, and been in situations, man, where. Niggas didn't dip. I was. I'm I, I don't. We don't got pump faked on. So, so just to segue into it, man. So we don't been pump faked on. A lot of people been pump faked on. I want to just go into this, bro, because I want to talk about it last week. But perfect situation. How people flaky, bro. Like all I say to people out there, always stand on business, man. I remember one day back in the day, man. We was in the city. I think we was going. Was this Detroit? We had a show in Detroit. Cause we was What'd booked all weekend, bro. Oh, you talking? Oh, yeah, yeah. So we, we talking about you talking about back when we was um, talking about back when we was in Michigan. We went. Yeah, 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 yeah. We was living we, in Michigan. Yeah, we was living in Michigan. Oh, okay. So we was on. We had like four shows that week. So we go to the last show that week. We like go to Detroit. So me and you remember we rode Dolo because we usually have our people. Peas, oh yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. We rode Dolo out there. Oh, like, you talking about? I know you talking about that week that uh, yeah, PZ had set up. Yeah. yeah. So you know, CD just coming out. You know what I'm saying? Promoting, doing the shows. Little baby tour run, we get there. You know what I'm saying? I get in the venue, man. We like, oh, man. I'm really not feeling the energy, but it's people, it's packed. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, yo, man, looking for the promoter, looking for the promoter, looking for the promoter. Find some. Everything cool. You know how they do you, man. Everything cool, big dog. We're going to get you on there, bro. Don't worry. Stay over there, man. We drinking, drinking, drinking. At this time, you know, I'm drinking. I'm looking at my clock. I'm like, damn, bro, it's like 12.45. We got to get this shit on the road because I'm like, I'm trying to go back. You know I'm what trying mean? to yeah, remember all this shit because we didn't do a lot of fucking story. But I know, I think I know where you're going with. But, dog, man, this thing, man, we looking. We can't find a promoter anymore. Now it's like 1.15. I'm already to the point to where, like, I ain't trying to perform in this motherfucker, but I would have still did it because I don't came down this motherfucker. Yeah. So I think me and you, we ran up on a DJ on some Suge Knight like Death Row shit. I'm talking about we runs up. Oh, man. I know, you, I know you talking about. <laughs> we about to get on my man head, bro. Talking to him in his Suge Knight yeah. voice and shit. Yeah, I was on. Yeah, I was on a different on time. Him. And yeah. at this time, we talking. This the DJ, but he's still DJing the party though. Yeah, that, rest in peace, man. That was my man Jay Gaines. Uh, party, oh man, bro, man. Rest, yeah, in peace, yeah, rest in peace, Jay Gaines, man. man. But uh, yeah, I remember that, bro. But, uh, t yeah, you can finish that one, man. Man, that shit was crazy, cause bro, you know, you know, bro talking with his hands and shit everywhere, and he moving his hands this around. Before I knew how to DJ. Duh, man, and it, and it looked bad because. I'm like, how are we on a fly to perform? These motherfuckers looking at me. Now I'm here and arguing with the, with the DJ. Level, no, finish the rest of the story, though, nigga. So as you doing your Suge Knight impersonation, man, this nigga talked to him. He don't shook the nigga up, bro. The DJ don't cut the music out in the middle of the club yeah, at 1.30, bro. bro. And all you hear, you ever get a music cut he on was, you? So, so, so what the DJ was doing, bro, was, 
I'm telling the nigga like, yo, man, I got my nigga. I'm over. You know, I used to play manager back then. Well, I wasn't man. I was managing you and whoever else. But nigga, I told the nigga whatever, man. I was like, yo, man, I gotta get this nigga on stage, bro. He been here, this and that, man. And it was getting, you know, the time was getting close, and you was pushing, motherfucking push me. Hey, man, get me. I gotta get on stage. So I go holler at the nigga and shit. <laughs> I go holler at the, at the nigga and shit, bro. I'm telling the nigga like, yo, man, you know. This the uh, hard drive right here. This the flash uh, flash drive right here, man. <coughs> that got the got the song on and shit. And this nigga, bro, he's like telling me like I'm gonna put it on in a second, bro, and have y'all walk up. But I'm like, nah, nigga, you gotta do this shit, nah, nigga. I'm telling you, like, y'all ain't, we ain't holding up nothing else, nigga. That's what it is. So as he getting ready to like mix into another song, bro. That motherfucker ain't had it. He must have been, by talking to me, that motherfucker ain't had that bitch queued up. Man, he scared the shit out, my man. You man, ever been? You ever just music just go out? You ever had just music go out while you talking shit? It was like, hey, motherfucker, I'm up. Yeah, that's how it happened. Yeah, the nigga, hey, motherfucker. And then it just got completely quiet. It just quiet got completely me. quiet, man. It took my man like 40 seconds to get the record back. Man, I'm like. Bro, the whole club was just. Club pissed. And they looking at us now. Man, like that shit made me more pissed. Because I'm like, man, fuck that damn shit, nigga. What the duh. Fuck? Like. We all dying, but yeah, man. We but had to get the but fuck out no, that too. ain't the cold part, though. We had to get the fuck out of there. We had to get the fuck up out of there now. Now the scene is hot. Yeah, it's hot. We, you we know, they looking at us like, y'all don't niggas, fuck the we vibe. We down there too thick, so it wasn't even like, you know. So, bro, we all, we, we you know, we lit. You know, bro leaves. You know, we he driving. We riding, going back to the city. Oh, yeah, man. This nigga goes the wrong directions. Go the wrong way, man. I'm driving, and the, and the party was in Ann Arbor, I believe, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The party was in Ann Arbor, man, during, like, uh, uh, what them shits called? Icebreakers. Yeah, and then we, and not only that, we bro. We driving back towards fucking, like, Detroit or some shit like that, man. It was all over the place. And not man. only that, we had every fucking thing we were smoking man. on us, like, all our smoke, liquor, all liquor, open, hitting. And this nigga got us put, well, I ain't gonna say, we don't got pulled over going yeah. the wrong way, bro. Yeah, man. Pulled over, man. I swear that, God, that was on night, our side, bro. by the grace of God, God was on our side, he bro. was on our side because we wouldn't... both was going in. Yeah. Now, car, all that shit, now I'm going to say that to say this while I tell the story, man. And this is just how when you fucking with people that don't stand on business, this is how shit ends, man. So we get all the way back to the sag, man. We go all the way back to the sag. We might be like, you know what I mean, like maybe about mile from the crib coming down a side street man my g hits a bump and the muffler <laughs> falls off the car i said what type of oh, shit. yo forgery <laughs> business is going the muffler <laughs> fell off the car and muffler my nigga fell. so tired and pissed he was gonna I leave it. that motherfucker it went my car i was like shit man like but how you gonna return somebody car with no muffler? Nigga, I was like, if that bitch fell off, nigga, it probably was gonna fall off any other day, man. man. Like, I'm like, yo, what the fuck I'm gonna do with a fucking muffler? Bro. Nigga? Hey, yo, good. I, I took I, bro. Good, I, well, good you said go get the nigga muffler, though, man. Pulled back, picked up the hot muffler, yeah, bro, put it in the, the back. The thing about it is, if we wouldn't, that shit was like a $500, $600 job, bro, like, just to get on another nigga car. On bro. another nigga car, man. Hey, man, that's one for the ages. Crazy man. shit, man. man. We, got, we got a lot of them, uh, a lot of them stories right there, man. Like, the shit that happens to be, man. Yo, oh, man, no, no, no. just just living too fast, bro, man. Living too fast, man. But um, I got to jump into this, man. Um, I had seen a list, man. Like, they was talking about, like, who is the best down south lyricist. That's what they were saying. I wanted to know just, like, who the best down south rappers? Because you got to have, like, the lyrics, like, incorporated in there. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I know what you want to say who? already. Willie D. You know, you're a Willie D fan, I man. I fucks with Willie D too, bro. Man, bro <laughs> you fuck with that cleanup man yeah, shit, bro. That's, that's the ghetto boys, man. Don't ever disrespect, bro, man. That's the ghetto boys, man. So, who, who you just... think is your top Southern artist that you just the king? That's what it had me on though, because I was like, I don't know, bro. Like, I really don't know. It's so many uh, like it's a lot, Southern man. artists, man. It's like hard to put them in. I definitely can't put it in no order. I don't believe. Mm, if I, don't I had I could, to, but. I mean, I know my favorite. It's, it's just like no debate with me. Like it, it's just off. Give the me rip. five, bro. Give me five. I give you five, five on. So we gonna go. I'm gonna start at number one. Are you gonna top? You I'm gonna go one gonna to order, five. You gonna order? I'm gonna go one to five on. I ain't gonna hold myself to that, man. And this off the top, and I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna be real accurate with this. One, Andre three thousand. Let's get them off the table. 
number one Southern artist, bro. And I know I ain't he gonna might. Say nothing. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Number one, John Deere three thousand. Two. I'm gonna go with Face Mob, Scarface. I'm gonna go with Face Mob with number two. Three. I'm gonna throw my wild card in there, man. I'm gonna throw a wild card up in there. Ludacris. Let's go up in there. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. So we'll be at three, four. Now, this is a hard one at four because it's a you lot. Get to it, man. Nah, bro. It's a, this, 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 I, I really had to think on four. If I'm gonna go four Southern artists of all time, of all time. I want to go with this dude, but I'm going to just go ahead and go with him. I'm going to go ahead and go with him, man. Bun B, man. I think he's so underrated, bro. So Bun I'm B definitely going to throw Bun B in there. It's a legend. And last but not least, number five on my list. Man, I'm going to do it for the culture, man, because I feel like his his catalog backs it up, man. And out of all the people I was going to say, his catalog backs it up, and he always been consistent with me, bro. T.I., man. I was gonna, I was gonna say, bro, like, how the fuck Ti is not on your? Oh yeah, yeah, Ti, he's the one of the most, yeah, yeah. top five of all time, like, damn. Yeah, like, and, and, and then a bonus one, the bonus one, and I and I, and I feel so disrespectful, but I don't want to just put him in the category hey, of a yeah, southern five, artist. Bro. I was gonna, I was gonna say Lil Wayne. But see the yeah, thing, yeah. That's where I'm that's that's where I was coming in. Like, yo, <laughs> yeah. how the fuck is Lil Wayne is not on the top five yeah, I, Southern I, artists of all time if he ain't he in the top ten. But you see the artists thing of, of all time. You think the thing about it, bro, I don't look at Wayne as a I think he don't surpass Southern artists. Yeah, I'll be bro, forgetting. But did you not know what I mean? Include him in the top five Southern artists of My all time. My bad, Wayne. Hey Wayne, Wayne, Wayne. I'm gonna restructure, baby. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go under three thousand. No, no, we ain't. I'm gonna go Wayne. No, that shit that's that shit got it. I'm gonna go Luda. You got it. I'm a, wait, 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 wait. So, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna nah, go. No, you I'm can't a, restructure your shit, bro. No, nah, like, bro, that's. That, oh, nah, you, you can't. Me, you can't man. restructure your whole thing, man. But like, damn, you threw me off where I was at, man. But it, you heard this nigga like just leave Wayne out the shit, then gonna try to restructure his list. Like, come on, man. But first of all, man, I should just like go through and just dissect your damn list, bro. Cause what I fucks, suck, man? I fucks with Andre three thousand, man, but. You got it, man. Andre Thousand ain't got no no album out here, bro. Who have no no work out here like that? Like he don't, don't get me wrong, Outkast. And he I'm don't need none, away. bro. Just 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 look at his work, bro. Man, all right, man. I don't even want to do mine in no order, cause you know what I'm saying. I really don't know all these. All mine can be pretty much number one. First, I'm gonna start out, man. I gotta give it to the to the legend first, man. Scarface. Scarface definitely is on that top five Southern artists of all time. I don't care what nobody say. Uh, two, Lil Wayne, bro. Like, it's, come on, it's, it's crazy not to put Lil Wayne in the top five Southern artists of all time. It's kind of crazy, man. Uh, three, Tip. I respect that one, man. Tip, gotta have Tip in there. So you had two of mine. Yeah, I mean, okay. You, right. you didn't have Wayne in there though. You didn't have Wayne. Are you talking about Scarface? And but that was just due to technicality, though. That's all right. right. Well, we got we got that one in there. All right. Now four and five. That's gonna be kind of a wobbler, but. Uh, yo, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got a drawback. Hold on, J Cole, bro. J Cole, bro. Niggas forget that J Cole is from uh from North Carolina. That's the South, bro. Yeah. J yeah, Cole yeah. might be yeah, nah. the best lyricist. I, I mean, in Scarface, but he's still with it within my Southern top five, though. Sorry. He's in that top five, bro. J Cole is of the now. Like he's definitely got to be in that in that top. And that's five. my dog. And uh, to round out my five, man, it's so many legends. Like, shout out to Bun B. Shout out to Pimp C. Two J. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Future. You know what I'm saying? Because he got a lot of bangers out there. Like, I know what you about, about to say. Yeah, but no, 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 no. I already know. I already know. I got, you got to put him in there. So what else I'm missing? I want to shout out, man. Gucci. Jeezy. Yeah, yeah. Shout out Gucci, Jeezy. Got to throw Boosie in there. I mean, Boosie, five, I, I, Boosie. He's in my top five. Boosie's Boosie was in my, in my top, top ten. Five. No, I'm talking about top ten. Top, oh, top ten Southern artists? Yeah, he was in my top ten. Yeah, man. Boosie's definitely in the top five Southern artists of all time, man. I definitely arrived with my five, but we were five. Definitely so you put Boosie at five? I put him at five, yeah. Four Damn, five. over Ricky? Oh, shit. <laughs> Yo, see, like, I, I see feel it. what you're saying now. Sound like the Lil Wayne, and you yeah, see what I'm saying? saying. Yeah. yeah. Ross is in my top five, ten, like, not in my probably five, but huh? he's in my top ten though. Ross, fifty, they in my top ten and shit. So it's a little different. Boss. But 
yeah, man, Ross is definitely in my top. He's my number one Southern artist of all time. I'm gonna say that. That's my pick. Like, oh, we know. That's, yeah. like, I listen to like that when that nigga Ross dropped that that uh that that deeper than rap. He had the game for a little minute. Man, he still got the game. I'm I'm just an ah. avid Ross fan, bro. I ain't gonna say he still got the game. I ain't gonna say that. I see the walking out my man's shows when I seen him. I said, "Damn, I ain't never seen that." Yeah, they cleared the arena, man. I think they can start cleaning up in the rows when he's performing, man. I said, "Damn, man, they probably had a bomb threat or something, bro." Damn. Yeah, but shout out Ross though, man. You definitely in my top ten, Rose. Definitely Give Ross his flowers, y'all, man. And I want to, I want to say this also about Ross. He's one of the most top Southern businessmen that I ever seen, though. Like. Forget the rapping, man. Let's talk about his business sense, man. And I'm, a, I'm, and I'm don't, don't, don't get me wrong. Like Andre 3000 is great. I don't want to make it look like I. And I, he would. He's in my top artists as well. Like, like he's on my top 25 and all that. But like Andre 3, uh, 3000 don't have no solo album, and it'd be disrespectful to me not to give like Ti. Ti got some. Like I was saying the other day, man. Like. Urban, like T.I. got classics, like 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 I'm talking about nah, bombs you got as some well. Bombs, bro. I, I forgot the name. I let my top back. Though. Yeah, I'm gonna say like that. Uh, urban mu- uh, what's it called? Urban legend. Urban legend. And trap music can be considered as classics, bro. And if you want to go, if you want to really go there, man, the T.I. versus T.I.P. album was hard too. So y'all gotta. That was hard man. too. That was hard too. We're yeah. playing with that boy. That's and what's the one, the one had, with the uh, paper mache cover? With the Rihanna song, Paper Trail. That but, was hard and too. And Paper Trail went platinum and all that too. But it, but I'm just like, you, I, I want to make sure I want to get that. Like, Urban Legend and trap music was classics, bro. Urban Facts. music and trap. That's like that can be like when niggas talk about like Wayne is is is, is definitely one of the greatest artists. But they get they flowers, get tip his flowers too, bro. I ain't gonna even lie to you. I thought your top ten list, your your top five was gonna be fucked. I thought you was about to name. Uh, Ice T, nah. Ice Cube. Nigga, they ain't even from the South, nigga. Uh, hey, that's what I thought you was about to name, man. I thought you about to name some crazy <laughs> shit, bro. Nah, but I respect man. that. I can stand on the five you got, but I also don't have a problem with my five. I think yeah. it's a lot of people out there that think 3,000. Yeah. They wanted more from 3,000, but I think that's his mystique. Everything I think he touched, he burned. Like early, always giving that to him. But don't get me wrong, the lyrics is always on point. The songs, you know, the songs is always. We on not going we not gonna like, talk about that. Not and then also he was a producer, bro. Like let's not right. let's let's talk about it, bro. Like right. give give that man his flowers, bro. He out here sitting on benches by himself reading but, little but, Bible know, books. That's what I'm saying. Like J Cole, bro. <laughs> J Cole, bro. Like J Cole actually out here producing whole. Whole songs and and shit. Sometimes his mixtape when he was producing his whole mixtapes and all that shit by itself. That's true. So we gotta give him that too, man. Give him his flowers, man. But yeah, shout out, shout out, Cole, man. You know, yeah, and man. I talk about Cole almost every episode. So Cole, Cole walk into my neighborhood, nigga. I got some bars for you, man. Come on the pod, baby. Come see us. Cole but um, man. let me get to this though, cause I seen this. This is fresh, and I know we getting pushing that hour, man. Yeah, but uh, are, man. so shout out to my dog. Big Trust, Lamar Jackson, bro. He oh, got yeah. the Shout bag, boy, the highest paid bag for a quarterback. He and he got what two sixty, yeah. one eighty five guaranteed. He pulled it in. So Jalen Hurts had had it by like a by five million. And shout out to Jalen Hurts because he got a team full of. All female managers, black, white, and they did their thing, man. Because there's not a lot of female um, managers out there running the game. So, shout out to his team. But, yeah, Lamar finally got that bad. They tried to play him out. But I told him, bro, he stood with his moms. His mom is his manager. He stood yeah. with his moms. He and his mom bag, got that man. bag. And you know how much he gave her, though? What? He gave her, like, $7.5 Because you know when you with an agent, they got to pay, like, that's a 3%. Mom, she set for life anyway. But, man. no, they, that's just what he gave her, though, You know what I'm saying? But she set for life anyway, man. That's like, you know, that just her, just, you know, this is him just doing something, you know. Hey, yeah. mom, you ain't got to ask me for shit, but you still, you know, you yeah. got it. They try to stall. They try to stall my man out, though. That, that's why I'm happy he got that bag. And this is a cool fact, yeah. though, is that two, <clears throat> the top four quarterbacks, two of them, Lamar Jackson and Jalen Hurts are black, and they got the two biggest bags, stuff for Patrick Mahomes and somebody else. So man. shout out, man! Shout out, to shout him, bro. Out, man, that's bro. Bill, big. That's 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 more than big, that's big man. Because yeah. at first, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro, man. When they were saying that, you know, his mom and shit was gonna negotiate the contract and all that, I was thinking like, man, I hope she don't get this nigga no uh, Master Pete Ricky Williams deal. Bro. <laughs> 
had this nigga working off incentives, man. Boy, like, boy, working for uh, signing uh, yeah, rings, man. boy. Like, I ain't want that type of, you know what And I'm then Pete like, tried to make him wear them ugly ass shoes on the football. He's like, hell no, I ain't wearing nah, them goddamn things, nigga. I ain't want that for Lamar Jackson, bro. I was like, we can't have my man out here. He got a. He got to put up 5,000 yards, man, just to get right. him a fucking uh, 2 million. And I, th- I, I love that it breaks the, 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 uh, the mystique of black quarterbacks because we just, assume, like the media just assume, oh, a black quarterback, so he can run fast, yeah. he can't really throw it. So that just proved to them people coming up, because my nephew played quarterback, and he played like Lamar Jackson. So uh, that boy. encouraged, man, don't let nobody yeah, tell bad. you you got to be a pure passer. You can't run. Yeah. You can't do this, man. That proves to everybody out there that you can play that style of football and still be one of the highest paid people in that month. So nice. hey, follow follow your dreams, man. Follow your, follow dreams, your plays, man. Cause man. they do they do try to put that mystique out there that you know what I'm saying like, um, well you know usually when you a black quarterback in college and shit like that, mm-hmm. by the time you get to the league, they didn't turn you into a you know what I'm they, saying they want to make you Michael Vick. Well, no, they didn't turn you to a wide receiver. Oh man. yeah, yeah, like, or they turn you to a wide receiver. You, you know what I mean? You know, Running yeah. back. Yeah, you, you know what they, mean? They, they they turn you into you know a specialty player or whatever and shit. Yeah. So it's like. Nah, let me play quarterback. Yeah, you know let saying? us play, man. We 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 can uh, develop if we 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 can we can do sick because you know what to be a quarterback. You got to be sharp. You got to be able to read playbooks, yeah, and so that's a statement because they think, oh, the black nigga he can't read like that. He, nah. nigga, he just athletic. No, no, nigga. Nah. We know how to decipher plays, break them down, bro. You know what I mean? Facts, so shout out to Lamar Jackson. Shout out to Jalen Hurts. Shout out to everybody that's pushing that bag, man. Just push it. Push that culture forward. Shout out Get to me? him, man. It was, it was, we, well, we made history uh, last year with, you know, Jalen Hurts, man. We making history again, man. So yes, sir. definitely shout out to him, man. But, uh, yeah, man, um, we at, you know, pretty much an hour right now, man. You know, uh, you know, got a lot of stuff that we working on, man. Just got the, you know, uh, episodes back up on, uh, Spotify. Every and, Sunday. Yes, sir, man. They back out here, uh. They everywhere, man. They on Amazon, Spotify, Apple Music, you know, everywhere. Deezer. Deezer. Anywhere Deezer. y'all want to go, check the pod. We there, man. In, and man. we appreciate everybody that's signing up, subscribing to the page. You know, Shout we not new to this. Man. We true to this. And we will keep bringing this every week, man. Like, every comment, week. subscribe, man. We here every week, man. Just, you know, giving our motherfucking real life, man. It's just what we do, man. Just, yeah. like, just you know, giving our take on, you know, definitely things that we even live. So, yeah, man. I enjoy doing this, man. So, uh, what you got up, man, on the way right now, though, man? Pow, pow, pow. I don't know, man. I'll probably hit the streets, the man. I might, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm, I might get out in these streets, man. Go check a little hookah spot out. Go blow a little of this uh, hookah in their yeah, face. And, hookah um, spot out you know what I mean? Uh, like, I, was, I, think it's like, I think it's like South or something like that. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm going to try to go there. You don't do that. Um, you know, we're going to bring more content. We're going to bring... The, I told them the food reviews. You got that coming up. We're yeah, going to have these album that. reviews coming up. And like I say, man, we working on merch. You know what I mean? We're going to hit the merch out here. Yeah. So if anybody want to tap in, they got merch. You want to get out. We sponsoring everything. So we appreciate it, man. Um, oh, yeah. Yo, uh, shout out to shout out your, uh, your gaming, man. Yeah, man. And uh, most importantly, man, GT Gaming. 989. If y'all up late, I'm a late night gamer. So, Definitely. you know, if y'all up past midnight, nigga, I'm in that thing. You want to get your head busting, man? Yeah. I'm in that thing. I pop in, like you I tell y'all every like, like every episode, man. Like, yeah, I pop man. In, like, um, on uh, GTA, man. You know, yeah, 3 a.m. on Whittier, bro. Yeah. GTA 5. We got Coach in the building, man. He Brother coming Pimp. in and get bags a little bit. You know what I so mean? Take a so, nigga shit and then what? Sell it back to him, man. Sell it That's right back on the block, man. man. But, so yeah, a lot of stuff is going on, bro, man. And then, you know, like I say, new music is coming. I know I've been procrastinating. I know I've been doing it, but it's it's coming. Don't worry about nothing. At all facts, man. Got y'all levels, man. Levels, man. But what about man. you? What your what your what your scenery gonna look like this week? Man? Oh man, uh, we just uh, you know getting back to it, man. I'm getting everything set up, man, for really just this business part of uh, you know 3 mo Whittier, man. Locking like he was saying about the getting the merchandising. I mean, getting the merch out here and shit like that. Um, just had my man Marv uh, send me over some stuff, man, that I got to look into as well. So, yeah. and shout out to Marv. Shout out too. to that's Marv, my, that's man. My other partner, that's man. our producer, man. Shout so, out to my boy. You know, I'm working on that, and then, you know, I'm going to pop out, man, try to, you know, relax a little bit, man. Yeah, Spend so much know. time in the studio, man, and then now we doing this and shit, man. It's like, yeah. 
Got to relax a little bit, man. And I can't clean it day. I know y'all can't see my kicks in there. I can't clean it day, man, with the, with the, uh, man, you know what I'm saying, with shit. the 11s, the all black 11s on the cap and gowns. You know, did it big with the Nike we Tech. Have to, we got to start you know doing like a, a shoe of the day or something yeah, like that. Yeah, man, I got to start my, showing my flavor off, man. My shoe collection kills your shit. What? My shoe collection kills you. You ridiculous. Shit, I mean, I ain't bro. got all just Jordans and shit. You wear like Vans, cuz. I ain't wear no. I mean, I got I got a lot of pair of Vans, but I ain't wear no Vans. I, like, you big feet and you wear Vans. I wear Vans. some if it's, it's it's the right occasion, nigga. <laughs> if it's if I feel comfortable in them. Hey y'all, uh, don't don't take them serious. He can't bro. pop out with me, man. man you know what I'm saying? They call me the Nike it. One King, man. The Jordan King over here, boy. Man, but stay with it. Shop with P too. You did. Shout with my nigga P, bro. Shop with P, man, on Instagram, man. But uh, before we get out of here, man, um. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe on 3AMO Whittier, man. Follow the uh, Instagram page, uh, 3AMO Whittier 1. You know, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, man, Coach JR, man, everywhere, man. And Rapping As Wills is when, you know, he got his shit out there. Yes, man. yeah, just type in Rapping As Wills, man. You it's going to come up. Too. Projects. Um, what is it? Yeah, Co man. EP, man. All that stuff. Everything, man. Joe. Just type me in on Google. You'll find it all. You just support the movie, man. We're going to be back every week, man. But until next time, you know who it is. I'll let your boy yeah. go.